Peace. Your boy J. Gardner. Like, comment, subscribe. The red button, the red button. Anyway, why are we here? Lux talking spicy. Who FB dot up? That's what he said. He basically said, chilling not worthy. He told DNA, little nigga, get your files up. What's up, Lux? You gonna get in the ring with them niggas or not? Are you gonna break down DNA or not? Are you gonna show why B dot a Lux clone or not? Are you gonna show why Tiller can't F with you or not? Yo. I tell Lux. You got you playing a dangerous game. You playing a dangerous game. Cause if either one of those three battle rap get their hands on you in that ring, you gonna have a problem. It's gonna be a different night. These these rappers right now is preparing for two weeks, three weeks, and coming up with great material. What if they get five months off, get the pay that they want, get five months off just to write for Lux? You seen DNA what he did to um Mickey Fax? You seen Chilla and his battles with Arsenal? His battle with Charlie Clips. His recent battle with K Shine. You know that he's capable. K Shine went on a three year run. Chilla tore K Shine apart respectfully. B Dot. Last couple of years, he only dropped the ball one time. That's a choke against Chilla. You see what he did to Holmesy? You, you, you see what he had a class with the saga? DNA took Av and Geechee in three, two, three, four weeks apart. And he ain't lose a step. Do, do you really want to see them right now, Lux? Do you really want to know what's going to happen if you, they get their hands on you? And this is why you in the hot seat. You in the hot seat for this reason. We all know you and Daylight going to battle. Will you become k Shine when he battled Chilla? Or is your legendary status going to propel you to not take that much heat. If you lose to a, a true writer. Like Daylight. What that say about you? You're not the pensman anybody thought you were. You go down. You could, you could say whatever you want. About the Averb battle. Debatable. But Averb. With his style that he has now. And he handicaps himself. Every battle. He took your writing down a peg. So what's going to happen when you and Daylight get in that ring and Daylight rap like he, what he did to Tay Rock? And it's in a small room probably? Will, will we look at Lux the same after that? Will DNA say, never mind, Lux? Would B dot say never mind Lux? Would Chilla say never mind Lux? Daylight just thirtyed you. What's it gonna take for Lux to get in that ring? If Lux wanna play background, let him play background. But these rappers that rapping every two weeks, these rappers. That going to tournament, having to prepare for five different people just to get to the finals, and then after that, have to take an extra battle on the big stage.
the writing is up. The writing went up. This no bar, this no gun bar DNA is dangerous. B that always been dangerous. Chilla is dangerous. You should battle Chilla on the straight for he beat Sean. And, and you and Sean was talking about getting in that ring. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can say whatever you want about Moot. Moot was like, you know what? I got Tay Rock. He was about to battle Briz, a performer. Then after that, he had to switch his rounds and, and battle Tay Rock. What can we say about Lux right now? Lux, your project done. It's out. Will Lux take more than one battle this year? I doubt it. But DNA does have a point. You having all this time to write and it's not what it's supposed to be. We gotta be real with ourselves. Lux was never Lux since the the 2 on 2 when he had to do half the writing. I'm going to give y'all who, if those three matchups happen, I think Lux would beat Chilla because I think Lux is going to do a little bit more. I think his performance is going to be up there and he's not going to play with Chilla. I think he loses or have a debatable no, I'm going to say he has a debatable with B-Dot, but he loses the DNA. Because we got to take it, take it like this. Lux never seen the DNA. He never seen that. Every dot, everybody that he fought catered to him. <laughs> Let's go by the resume. Calico. Street rapper. You won't get this work, man. You shouldn't be in the street like that. Boom. Change battle rap. Hollow. Unorthodox. That was a little struggle for Lux. He was a little... Because he unorthodox. He don't know what he's going to do. Then he battled... Moot. Moot did whatever he wanted. Then he battled... Clips. We know about Clips. Is he really going to get it? Is he really, Clips going to take it seriously or he not? Like, let's be real. Um, the battle Arsenal. Street rapper that catered to you. And you battle Surf. Street rapper catered to you. You and Daylight going to be a pick em. It's all about the writing. You break down his bars, he might win. You break down Lux's bars, he might win. It, it, it caters to you. Battle somebody that's not going to be, that's out your element. Battle on, I w here's the thing. Instead of those three rappers, I would love to see him battle a Thesaurus, a Ilmat, um, a Disaster. And I think those type of battles be the best battles. Like, something that's not your element, you going against somebody completely different from you. Like, I would, I, me personally, I would love to see Real Deal in um, Lux Battle. You know, because it's a different style clash. That's just me. We're we going to pretend that Arsenal and um, the Adam dude 
uh, wasn't one of the best battles. DNA and Disaster, we're not going to pretend that's one of the best battles. You feel me? That's how it is. I hope Lux, I, I love to see Lux this year having daylight, and I want to see Lux take another one. But if he don't, he don't, man. Um, well, I think Mook and Lux Legacy is really because this is Stratton for safety. Let's get a little controversial here. I think Mook and Lux Legacy are bad or bad is because of the URL era. It's all you guys' fault. I'm going to tell you why. Because y'all keep saying on camera, your dream matches, your dream matches, Luke and, Mook and Lux. I want to battle Mook and Lux. It could be a, for a competition matter, but like, y'all fight so hard to try to get Mook and Lux. You should ignore them. If you would ignore them, Lux come in as a regular rapper. Now, here's the effect. Someone who's 14, 15 years old, that's just starting to like battle rap, they growing up on y'all. So they grow up on Surf. They grow up on DNA. They grow up on B. Dot. They growing up on y'all. Then y'all go on camera and be like, yo, I want battle Lux. I want battle Moot. They should come outside. Who Lux and who Moot? They must be a higher level than them because they want to battle them for some reason. That, that's the perception. Y'all made them who they are, in a way, promotion-wise. And, um, y'all gotta, y'all gotta extinguish the fire. It's your boy, Jay Gardner. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, share the video if you want to. Notification for any new video that I come out with. Um, and my closing statement. Let's own something.